Welcome to this edition of Arts in Review. This week we'll be visiting the works of an extraordinary English artist, Ron Thompson. We have an opportunity to show you a segment of a recently rediscovered BBC documentary on his life and times. This amazing work was lost for more than 40 years, but recently the film has been found in an abandoned shed in East Anglia. We'll be showing you a few minutes of that film, but bear in mind, the quality is not at the top notch, but the content is spectacular. Sudbury, a quiet English country town, birthplace of Gainsborough, also the birthplace and home of another extraordinary artistic talent, Ron Thompson, artist for a new age. Although self-taught, Thompson attended the life classes at the local art school where the tutors were astonished by his technical skill. Thompson quickly moved on from representational art to an abstract and very personal view of the world. He developed the juxtaposition of carefully prepared oblongs of contrasting colours in a spatial arrangement which both challenged and stimulated the viewer. The paintings created considerable interest as they developed a new vision of the relationship between the artist and his audience. His first one-man show was well attended, but the critics were divided in their assessment of his art to the point of hostility. In retaliation, Thompson changed direction and initiated his triangular phase. Once again, his skill in drawing the viewer into a very special artistic experience drew worldwide acclaim. The delicately positioned triangles against a sweeping white background created a dynamic tension which transcended traditional abstract painting. This unique approach was well received in contemporary art circles. Thompson's second one-man show resulted in the expected division of the critics, but he was now well established as a painter of importance. He experienced a period of self-doubt and withdrawal, and for a period produced nothing. Early Thompsons were selling well to a knowledgeable and well-informed clientele, and possession of a Thompson was evidence of fine artistic taste. Always appreciative of the shared experience with his audience, he hung pre-titled frames leaving the viewer to enjoy the pleasure of filling the void with a personal interpretation of a famous artist's inspiration. Finally, he abandoned painting in favour of film and created his hypnotic six-hour masterpiece, The Turning of the Knob. <laughs> What a remarkable artist. His work has been viewed and admired for a very long time, but little is known of the man himself. Next week, we will present the entire restored film, which will give us all an opportunity to know more about Ron Thompson, the man and the artist.